reason and logic. A statement is either true or false, but not both. The statement will be assigned a letter, P, Q, R, T, pick a letter you like. This makes it easier to write and explain logic and reason, reasoning as you'll see. So we start with one of the connectives, the negation of a statement. This is a symbol, it's like a sleeping S. So if we let P be the statement, then the negation of P means negate P. That means deny it or the opposite of P. Here's an example. If P is going to be 2 plus 3 equals 5, then the negation of P would be 2 plus 3 does not equal 5. Notice we're negating what P is. If P is a hexagon has six sides, the negation of P would be a hexagon does not have six sides. We have quantifiers, we have existential and universal. The existential would be like some, there exists at least one or more, and the universal, all, every, and each. These are like opposites. So we're gonna negate a quantifier. You negate it the following way. Notice the wording there exists, that's an existential, and notice what they're proposing, 3n equals 6. So the negation of this statement would be changing the there exists to for all, and then changing 3n equals 6 to 3n does not equal 6. Here's another one, another example. For all natural numbers, n, 3n equals 3n. So what would be the negation of all natural numbers? there exists a natural number. What's the negation of 3n equals 3n? 3n does not equal 3n. Now we're gonna go into truth tables. Truth tables, they collect the result of a statement. It's truth value, these are truth values. So suppose my statement was P, and this table was to show what the negation of P is. So P can be true or false. So what would be the negation of those values? The negation of P would be false for the true and true for the false. <clears throat> then we have other connectives. Notice this is one of the connectives, the negation. We also have these symbols, also they're logical connectives. They connect statements. So this one is called a conjunction and this one's called a disjunction. The conjunction represents and, and the disjunction represents or. So let's see how the and and the or behave. The first part of the truth table is the same. All the combinations with P and Q values. True, 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 false, false, true, false, false. Notice these are exactly the same. Now we apply the conjunction. So what should we expect when we form the conjunction of true and true instead of true? True and false, false. False and true, false. False and false, false. One way to remember the result of truth table for a conjunction is to see that the result, the only truth you have is when both of them are true. Every other time, the result of the conjunction is false. So right here, Inputs, these are like your inputs. Here's a disjunction that's like your or. So it's true or true, true, true or false, true, false or true, true, false or false, false. So notice the only time you get a false or a disjunction in or is if it's false or false. Now this one looks bigger, this truth table looks bigger because there's more things involved. We're supposed to show that the left side is equivalent, this is or equivalent, almost like an equal sign, but it's three little more, that these are equivalent. For these to be equivalent, they would have to produce the same result, and we're gonna demonstrate that they do. So how do you do it? Well, you do one left, the left first, 
you input T and Qs, and you open the required app, and then you are conjunction. So this is the result of the conjunction. Now what does it say here? To negate it, so you go to the end like you did, and just take the opposite of each of these values. And then you have a value here. True is turn to false, false turn into true. And you do all of this, so you get all four. So that's the left side. Now you do the right side. So we're going to do the negations, and then we're going to or them. So here's the negation with P, here's the negation with Q, and then right here we're oring them. Notice that the result of oring these two negations is exactly the result of the left side. So we say these two statements are equivalent. 